Okay, so we have a bit of a got a specialized S Works Venge here, and we have got this is what it comes down to. I'm going to get to the giant propellant in a minute, but we've got Kittel there. Look at that gap. This is after 213 k's. 213 k's. So that's where every little bit of second half wheel can really help. Otherwise, uh, yeah. So we've got two disc brakes. This is sort of revolutionary in bike technology world. We've got Michael Matthews on a new, this is a new propelled disc brake coming out. And we've got the S-Works Venge, which originally was a disc brake bike, but because UCI flagging with, with discs, they had to release the cantilever brake version. But that's the that's how close we're talking. So that's where the aero gains can help. If you're a Tour de France level sprinter, every little bit can help. Because look at that. Look at that. So we're going to go to the Giant. And there's nothing on the Giant's website just yet. But we have this. This is the pictures we got. So what else can we got? Um, so the only person... Riding this bike at the moment is Matthews in the Tour de France. It's that little stick down there. Is that a, is that a stand? Is that a stand for the bike? We're getting disc brake bikes with stands now. But trolling aside, it it is a big improvement because the main concern I got from Propel owners was the brakes on these bikes were shit house, especially the first batch that came out. Then they changed the Furious one and they were a lot better. Uh, disc brake bike though, I've ridden. I've got a few disc brake bikes. I definitely rate it. The Propel, though, isn't really a bike for me, but now it looks a lot better because it's got a better tyre clearance. When you have disc brakes, it's got better tyre clearance, so Propel with 28 mil tyres, probably going to be pretty, pretty nice to ride. But it depends also where you live as well. Um, you know, If you live in the flatlands, the Propel is a nice bike. You can do a lot of fast rides, bunch rides. Propel is probably the bike for you, crit riding, stuff like that, time trials. It's, a, it's the aero design bike, um, but that stem... I'm not sure how user friendly that would be. Maybe it's just a prototype. So we've got through axles. Through axles, we've got the Durace carbon wheels. Um, it looks very similar to Canyon and BMC, which I'm sure Giant would be making some level, some degree. It does look it's got a lot more tire clearance. Look at that tire clearance. Down tube's notably different as well. Um, looks pretty skinny. All right, let's have a look at the uh, giant website. This is the Taiwanese shops. This is when all the bikes come out. They end up in here, so there's nothing. We can't see nothing for 2018. It hasn't been released. What we do see, though, is a TCR SLR. This looks interesting. Maybe it's a rivaling the Mond, Monda SLR. So we've got like a little super lightweight alloy TCR. It's quite interesting. It's quite skinny for an alloy frame, isn't it? It's got a little CAD 12 looking fork. But uh, interesting stuff. What is it? No, I thought it was penny amounts, but uh, it comes stock with a, look at this, check this out, 53rd point 28, you know what I mean? That's pretty cool to see. So this is Marcel Kittle's bike, this is the S-Works Venge, again I said before, it was originally designed as a disc brake bike, but because the UCI, UCI delay with disc brake legislation, they had to turn it into a cantilever, but this is the original format, so this is Kittle's bike, hey, this is a look at something, look at that stem handlebar drop, pretty aggressive. I've ridden with Kittle a few times in Adelaide, done a few hundred kilometres with those guys, and he's a very tall guy, good person to sit behind. So putting out incredible power, 1,800 watts apparently, 1,800 watts for maybe 10 seconds, and he needs to put out a lot more power because he's so tall, he's so tall, um, and that's the, so they've got disc brake bikes, is the, the talk of the town this year, and it looks like he's running 140 mil rotors on the back. Which would be a bit of a pain in the ass because I think that the uh, he also has 140. I think the UCI set a standard of 160 in terms of support cars having that through axles, so a bit slower wheel changes. But uh, and so Giant's not registering a rim brake version, so it looks like it's the end for the rim brake propel potentially. The end. So, uh, what else have we got here? Just looking for some photos here. What do you think that color looks alright, isn't it? Not bad. You got another. Oh, we got 160 mil rotors. The aero. I don't really think you need 160 mil rotors in the Tour de France, personally. But, uh, I mean, these guys don't even need disc brakes, really. I think this is just more marketing. I mean, for that, for the Tour de France riders, they don't need disc brakes. For the amateurs like us, disc brakes can be very, very handy in the wet. But, Pro riders don't need better brakes. These guys are so good on, and girls are so good on the animals anyway. They don't need better brakes, but, you know, this is the world we live in. It's pretty cool paints, graphics. Flat mount. Ooh, the Duo's disc. It's a cool looking seat. 
I like the specialized saddles, I like that cutout. I definitely rate specialized product at that level. Um, a lot of detail on these little stickers. Wow, vision bars, that's interesting. I'm not, I don't think I, I don't, I'm not sure about that here. Carbon one piece in terms of safety. If you have a crash, you're getting her getting thrown in the bin. It's a lot of resources wasted. Um, okay, through the fork. Cabling through the fork. It's nice and clean. Nice and clean looking. First of all, problems. Little K edge bracket. There's a bit of glue left over on the uh, tubulars. The grip ton. He's running 26 mil. That's interesting. Got the graphics underneath the down tube. So there you go. So that's the disc brake bikes. That's the Propel. It's Marshall Kittle's bike. He's running Dura Ace cranks on there. So they're going to get questions, comments down below. It's not released yet. It's not on the market yet. But we do have the new TCR SLR. This was interesting little alloy bike. Stuff, stuff. There you go. That's how close some of the wins can be. Questions Tour de France? Bike issues related? Leave them down below. Cab the fuck up. Go vegan. Giant propel. It's landing soon.